you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy be, so that my joy be in you and your joy be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, everyone. On this important feast for the Universal Church and for our religious family, when we remember the patron of our religious life and also the anniversary of the first manifestation of the image of the pelican to our mother founders. This image which will be a light for her path and also an image for all those who would follow her footsteps so that we may be those images of the pierced hearts of Jesus and Mary. What was the teaching, essential teaching of Saint? F we listen that we listen to in the Word of the Lord today. Two dimensions in the first in the letter of Saint Paul to the Ephesians, which is the universal call to holiness. All the baptized have this vocation that we may be saints, immaculate in God. Out of love, this is central teaching of the church and the gift of the Lord for all the baptized. But the path is not the same for every state in life. That is, every state has duties and obligations adequate and appropriate for every state. And so moments of confusion in the church like the Counter-Reformation in France in the 17th century, the teaching of St. Francis de Sales was an upright light and simple and profound for all the states in life. The thesis of his teaching was a treatise on devotion, introduction to devout life that he wrote, and the notes and the letters that he wrote to a person who was in religious formation and under his spiritual guidance. And what did St. Francis Sales write? The most frequent temptation for of people who are worried about their spiritual progress, that under the pretext that under a greater apostolic influence, the devil does make some desire a different occupation from theirs. That is, a distraction from duties, essential duties to, essential duties of our spiritual path. Devotion must be, devotion is exercised in different manners. If it's about a noble person or a worker, a young single woman or a widower, or a married woman, more so, devotion must be practiced in a way accommodated to the strength, business, particular occupations of every person. 
And so in the gospel, what is the most simple title that he gives to his apostles? That we may be his friends, friends of his heart in every state. Every one of us wants to return one's heart and embrace the duties of the state of life for a religious, for a married woman, a married man, for the young single person. Every person in his adequate place to become perfect must fulfill the duties and rights of his their own path. St. Francis Sales continues, Tell me, Philothea, that is, friend of God, if it would be logical that bishops would want to live offered in, in loneliness like the Carthusians, if married people worry more about than the Capuchin friars. Or religious, on the contrary, is continually absorbed in the matter of a bishop by all the circumstances, like the needs of, the na of one's neighbor. S so much devotion out of adventure, it wouldn't be anything ridiculous and it right inadmissible. This absurd error is the most frequent in the church. It should not be like that. Devo devotion, in effect, meanwhile, is authentic and sincere. Nothing destroys, but rather it perfects everything and completes everything. That is, all the baptized have a call to holiness. But every vocation has its, their own duties and responsibilities and particular dimensions. And embracing our responsibilities and, and duties as religious brothers and sisters, as lay people, as bishops, priests, whatever the state, we are embracing our path that will glorify the Lord. All for the heart of Jesus through the heart of Mary.